Hey guys, I'm Nia. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. I make new videos every single week, so there's always something new to watch. A couple videos back, I literally went through all of Riley's clothes. I decluttered and organized the things that she had. And by doing this, it allowed me to make a list of everything that she is missing and needed for the fall and winter months. So I went shopping and I wanted to share with you guys the items that I did pick up. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to stay to the end of the video so you can see how I plan on dressing her up and incorporating these clothes into the items that she already has. So let's jump right into the haul. Starting off with some essentials which are going to be some pajamas because I find that because she's on the petite side I really can't do the whole one piece pajamas anymore so I decided to get her the top and bottom pieces and I saw this really cute one that is gray and has dinosaurs on it and it says sleepy saurus and it's paired with this navy blue bottom that has a dinosaur on it as well and then the other side is also um dinosaurs but it's like purple and has dinosaurs all over them with some matching bottoms. I also picked up this sheep one. It has sheeps all over it with matching bottoms and a little bit of a kind of like pink trim and then the other one has a really cute sheep face to it that's like sleeping so hopefully this gets her to sleep even better than she is and then also at the bottom it is all pink with white polka dots. Last set of pajamas is going to be by far my favorite. It's this really cute pink one with this bunny on it and has a sleep mask that has this really pretty floral print. Then the bottoms is also going to be the floral print as well. The other side is going to be literally the same exact matching floral print but it is paired with some pink or peachy type bottoms with white polka dots. She needed a couple of zip ups so I picked this gray one up from Carter's in the size 2T so it's definitely something that she can grow in and hopefully she will still be wearing it as we enter spring of next year and I just wanted something that would literally go with anything so gray is a neutral so I definitely wanted to go with that and then it has a sequin um unicorn on it as well then I also picked this one up from Target from the Cat and Jack brand and I got I got the one in blue. It's kind of like two different tones of blue. They did have a pink one, but it just personally wasn't my style. So I thought this one was really cute and it has a little bit of detailing on the sleeve. Yeah, I thought this was really adorable. I picked it up in a 3T. Again, something that she could hopefully wear next year as well. Now that she's a lot bigger, we definitely had to go with some socks. So I picked up this three pack the 12 to 24 months and I just got the um, neutral one of this so pink a white and a gray how cute is this like when I saw this I wasn't even in Target for any type of clothes for her but as soon as I saw this I knew I had to get it and it's definitely one of the girlier items that I have picked for her so it's this really cute gray sweater that has I guess like these little faces all over them I think they're bears with little pom-poms as ears so freaking cute and then it has this tool type style skirt and I immediately fell in love so on trend for this season is going to be kind of like this fluffy style coat and when I saw it I thought it was super super adorable it has some striped detailing in the hood and then also on the hood is going to be these cute little bear ears so I thought this was so adorable and when it starts getting like a lot colder out this is definitely something like a nice transitional um, jacket before like literally heading into the winter it even has like adorable little pockets not that she carries anything around or would put anything in it but I just love the detailing on this corduroy skirts are so in and when I saw this at Old Navy I knew I had to pick it up I think they also had it in like a mustard yellow color which I thought was cute but by the time I went back they didn't have it anymore I got this in 3t she has very chunky legs so I did not want anything that was going to restrict her from playing you know running around the house or doing whatever um, this is probably something she's going to be wearing to church or maybe if we're going out somewhere where she needs to be a little bit dressed up and I have a couple of corduroy skirts myself so 
we can maybe be matching one of these days. So I thought this was really, really adorable. She had a bunch of bottoms, but what I was specifically looking for were neutral bottoms because what I find is I'm always attracted to the prints and it sucks when I want to wear a bottom and put it with a top when I just literally need a solid bottom to go. So I picked these three up from Old Navy. They were having a sale. I got a pink, a gray, and a black. I do want to go back and maybe just get a white, um, just neutrals. And to me, pink is kind of a neutral. So definitely something she could wear. She could not go through the football season without having her cute little Eagles top. Last year, um, my sister had actually bought her this Eagles onesie and she faithfully wore that every single Sunday and hence the reason the Eagles won the Super Bowl. I swear she is their good luck charm. So I wanted to continue that out, throw them positive vibes. So I got her this really cute long sleeve top. So when she's watching football with Nick, she can have her little Eagles kind of shirt on as well. Definitely something she will be wearing every Sunday. I love a good peplum top. So I picked this one up from Carter's. It is pink and white striped and then it has has a cute little burgundy detailing with the cat face on the sleeve. I thought this was so adorable. Um, this is definitely something that I would wear myself. Well, maybe minus the cat on the sleeve, but definitely a cute little outfit that I think she would look so adorable in. You can never go wrong with some stockings. So I wanted, I was specifically looking for the thicker style stockings. So I got these in black and I am also looking for a white pair and possibly a printed pair as well. But I haven't found anything that I'm like obsessed with. So I'm going to keep looking for that. If you guys know any like cute, adorable places where I can pick up some stockings, let me know in the comment section down below because that's definitely something that I am looking for. Last two items are going to be some shoes. She has very, very tiny feet. So I did pick up shoes that are going to be um, a little bit bigger on her so she can grow into them. And I saw these really cute boots obsessed she's already actually worn them a couple of times before and they are a little bit big on her but of course she's going to be wearing socks with them they do have a nice lining um like a fur lining so really she doesn't have to wear socks it has these adorable like star detailing i wanted something that was going to be neutral that she can wear with anything she can dress them up she can dress them down i need something that is going to be universal so i don't have to waste my money and then the last pair are going to be these adorable black ballet kind of style flat and this is going to be perfect for when we're going to church because I do like to dress her up even though she is a kid but yeah I thought these were really really adorable now let me show you how I plan on actually putting all of these things together incorporating the items that she does already have in her closet so that she is going to be looking stylish and cute this season for the first outfit I wanted to go with this two-piece cat and jack outfit that I picked up from Target Target, the one with the cute adorable um, bear faces and the little pom-poms and then this adorable um, tool bottom I definitely wanted to have her wear these little boots definitely something really cute and then I was going to pair them along with some white stockings as well that she already had in her closet Outfit number two of course is going to be this cute adorable burgundy um, corduroy skirt it's coming off red on camera a bit but it is a deeper burgundy and then I wanted to pair it with this adorable peplum top because the burgundy in the um cat's like ears and everything and then I wanted to pair this with the black ballet flats just because it is more of a dressed up outfit and I thought that this would be perfect for it next outfit of course I had to incorporate this like fluffy little jacket that she has and because it is blue I went with the printed top um, because it is it does have um, a couple of like blue colors and it complements this blue jacket very well then I also paired it with a pink bottom to make it a little bit girlier and again, it's pulling in the pinks and the different colors from the printed top. And then I wanted to, of course, pair it with 
her beige um, sparkly booties. For the gray leggings that I um, picked up from Old Navy, I figured I would pair it with this adorable blue top that says hugs on it and has a nice little free frilled detailing on the shoulder. And then of course I would pair it with her gray metallic sequin flats um, just to kind of add a little bit of girliness to this entire outfit. So that is it for today's video. Let me know where your favorite place is to shop for a toddler or for baby. Leave a comment down below. I would love to connect with you guys there. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!